Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 119, Fundamental Statistics, Section 1.1, Problem 5. This is Section 1.1, Problem Number 5. It says determine the level of measure, whether it's nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio, for each of the following data. So the size of a Bristol Bayhawk sweatshirt, small, medium, large, or extra large. So the measure is using words as opposed to numbers, so that's going to put it in the first two, nominal or ordinal. Nominal is name only, no rank. Ordinal is name with an implied rank, and there is certainly an implied rank to this, small being the smallest, and they get progressively bigger. They are ranked. So this would be ordinal, names with an implied order. B, the distance you must travel to get to school. So this is something that's going to be measured with a number, probably in miles. So when, once you get to numbers, it's one of the second two. If it's numbers, it's either interval or ratio. And with numbers, you have to decide, do you have a sensible ratio? That means if a number is twice as big, is it measuring twice as much of something? So what possible distances might you have to drive to get to school? Let's say one student drives 10 miles and another student drives 20 miles. Those are reasonable answers, and 20 is twice as big as 10. Do you get twice as much of something? You do, twice the distance you travel to get to school. So it would make it ratio. The next one, C. A student's program of study, criminal justice, business transfer, dot, 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 et cetera, you know, like general studies. So these are names. So it's going to be one of the first to either nominal or ordinal. Again, nominal being name only with no implied rank. Ordinal being name with an implied rank. Well, these are names, but there is no rank implied. Like, is nursing um, more or less of anything than, say, business transfer? No, it's just a different program. So this would be nominal, name only with no implied rank. And then D, score on an exam out of 100 possible points. So again, these are going to be number answers, which are going to put you into one of the last two levels of measure, either interval or ratio. And again, pick two possible number answers where one number is twice as big as the other and see if you get twice as much of something. Let's say one student gets a 50 and another student gets a perfect 100. These are answers you could have. Uh, 100 is twice as big as 50. Does it measure twice as much of something? I would say certainly yes, twice as many uh, answers that are correct. So since you have a sensible ratio, a number twice as big measures twice as much of something, this is a ratio level of measure. E, time of day that your math class begins. So time of day is going to give you a number answer. Um, so it's going to be the interval or ratio. Again, ratio would be numbers that have a sensible ratio, meaning a number that's twice as big measures twice as much of something. So, let's say one student has a math class that begins at 1 o'clock, and another student has a math class that begins at 2 o'clock. 2 is twice as big as 1, but it doesn't seem to measure twice as much of anything. Is one class twice as early or twice as late or twice as much anything? Well, no. So what you have here is interval level of measure. So you're using numbers that do not have a sensible ratio. As a number gets twice as big, you're not really getting twice as much of anything. F, color of cars that are used car lot on Route 6. I like to bring the used cars on Route 6 into some of the questions. Um, so you're getting answers that are not numbers. They're colors, red, white, green, etc. Um, so it's going to be one of the first two, names, not numbers. Nominal means name only, no implied rank. Ordinal means name with an implied rank. The different colors certainly do not imply a rank. Is a green car any more or less of anything than, say, a tan car? No. So this would be nominal, name only with no implied rank. Uh, part G, the number of classes that a student registers for during a semester. So again, the number of classes this would be a number answer, meaning you would either have the interval level of measure or ratio level of measure. Now again, what you have to ask is, do we have a sensible ratio? As you make the number twice as big, does it measure twice as much of something? Well, one student might register for two classes. 
Another student might register for four classes. Four is twice as big as two. Does it measure twice as much of something? Yes, twice as many classes. Um, so you have numbers that have a sensible ratio. So the number of classes you register for in a semester is a ratio level of measure. And finally, H, the flavor of buffalo wings, whether it be mild, medium, hot, or I have labeled brain damage as usually one that's extremely spicy. Um, so these are names only. There's no numbers involved. So it's either nominal or ordinal. But it does imply an order. Nominal is name only with no implied rank. And ordinal is name with an implied rank. There is certainly a rank implied here. Um, so this would be the ordinal level of measure for the last.